Inai, Inai, Furu in the fur, Furu in the fur, Inai, Inai, Furu in the fur, What is this nigga talking about? Yeah, yeah, y'all probably like, what the hell are you talking about, man? That's that uh, ancient Egyptian, also known as Medu Nature, Imedu in Nature, Imedu in Nature. So what I was saying to you guys was greetings, greetings. Great day to you. And uh, the last thing I was saying uh, uh, when I said uh, 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 means uh, grand risings to you. Eclectic Soul Rock, I'm so glad you joined. I got, I totally, this, this holiday and these classes kind of been throwing me off. I freaking just saw it through like maybe like five minutes ago that the email that I was sending you for class with all the um, the books and all the information for class never sent out, so that shit was just sitting in my draft. Uh, for like two days. So I'm actually gonna send that to you in a little bit, all right? Thanks for being patient, brother. Thanks for being patient. Ah, uh, in the in the uh, eh, Kepper Joseph. Kinsu Keku. I am a Sekim. I am a Tepu. I am a Kau. For those that need the translation, that is ancient Egyptian. Meru Nature. I said. Uh, I am the great God who created myself, Kensu Keku. I come in power, I come in peace, and I come in words of power or sorcery. I'm about to roll myself a joint, do a little sun gazing, and talk some shit. Talk some shit with y'all. How was y'all Thanksgiving? Anybody do anything special for Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? I don't like to say Thanksgiving. It's the Thanksgiving. Because the word thank comes from the word the onk. To onk something and thank are the same fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I really kind of want to talk about today. Because I feel like a lot of the information that we get um, from people there are fragments of information uh when it comes to certain things so and i'm in my garage so it's probably like why you guys can't see me right now i'm just trying to pack me a bowl and enroll a joint but um what happens is we get a lot of misinformation uh from people online because they have an agenda oh this ain't even the right life because they have an agenda so what I mean by that is this. If you guys, for those that have been following me for a while, you probably get it, at least from my point of view. You get that I'm only interested in, in sharing practical manners to uh, know thyself and to empower thyself and, um, and uh, also uh, I, I do share you know, some of the historical information as well. But most of it is, you know, how fuck the history, how can we turn this shit on right now type shit, you know? Um, that's more important to me than w what niggas did 3,000 years ago. Now, uh, I probably need to go back inside because I think I left my lighter. But yeah, uh, when it comes down to shit, what it comes down to is this. Most people have an agenda in teaching you. So when you see a lot of these love and light cats, you know, online and shit, and they're always like, oh, you're so marvelous, you're so divine, you're so this, you're so that, we're all one, we all come from source. They're just trying to make you feel good so they can sell you a product. I mean, that's just what it comes down to. Like, trust me, I'm a salesman. <laughs> if, if, for people that know me, know me, know me, that know me before I even, like, became this new 
entity, not really became it, but awoken uh, the true entity within, they will tell you, I used to be one of the best salesmen to ever touch the fucking floor uh, at Spectrum Cable or Time Warner Cable in the West Coast. Like, I was known throughout the whole fucking uh, district as one of the hottest niggas on the, mo on the phone when it came to the selling that shit. So I know how to speak to people, you know? And so when I'm talking shit to y'all, not to y'all, but to the, to the Albion, or if I'm talking shit in general, or calling motherfuckers spiritually premature, or I'm talking about how niggas don't know this, niggas don't know that, then you need to understand something, something very simple. Don't you know that I know that that's going to alienate you guys? Don't you know that I know that that would separate um, things and make it where a certain group of people would not really be interested in hearing what I have to say? I do that on purpose because that completely shows who's ready to, to step into their power and who's looking to fit in. That's all it is. So if a person is up here spending most of their time trying to make you feel good about information, it's probably because the information isn't true. You know? The information isn't true or it doesn't apply to you, one of the two. I like how all those rhyme. Let me see something, one second. remember where I put my lighter, but stuff was falling out of my pocket while I was sleeping. What did I do? What's that? She doesn't make it easy. Venus time. Venus time. Probably fell on the couch. I'm assuming it fell on the couch. It did fall on the couch. Ha. I think she did. Okay. Alright, now I can continue. Sorry, guys. My bad. Okay. Now, what was I saying? Um, so yeah, most people telling you this stuff, they just want to make you feel good about the information. They don't actually have anything to share, you know, and that's not my, that's not my approach. My approach to this is give people the resources for the information, give people the resources for the information so that they can have their own realization. And it's funny you, you wrote that, uh, D.R. Nez, it's funny you wrote that. I actually have a song that I'm dropping on my next project, on my Idol God project, that's literally, uh, that's, that's the title of it, 963369. But yeah, those numbers are very important. Those numbers are very important. It's the first trinity, the second trinity, and then the, the last trinity, which basically is the alpha and the omega. So when, you're, when a person's reading in the Bible and it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the I am is the six. The Alpha is the, uh, the three, and the Omega is the nine. So I am the Alpha and the Omega is literally three, six, nine. Well, actually, it would be six, three, nine in that scenario, which is the heart chakra. Six three nine is the uh, the frequency of the heart chakra. So 
So the Alpha and Omega is your heart chakra, which I explained in my class is a black hole. Every chakra is a vortex, a spinning vortex. Therefore, you would need to uh, envision or visualize it as such. You know what I'm saying? Just like your pupils. See my pupils? <laughs> the pupil is black for a reason. Because black, as you know, if you're a melanated person, and if you don't know and you're melanated, then now you will know, you are black because the substance or the soul that is inside of you is a vampire, and it eats light. So that's why everybody has black pupils, because light is consumed by the eye, by the iris, and by the pupil, the retina as well. Um, and then it's, uh, but it's inverted. It's inverted. So it's everything that you see is basically upside down and inside out. Smoke break. So when y'all, when people hear my, uh, my Idol God project, when people uh, hear the Idol God project, and you hear the, the song uh, Clip Off, um, what you'll notice is, in the song I say, uh, I'm upside down like God's upside down. I'm upside down and inside out like God upside down. What I'm talking about is light. I'm talking about light is an inverted descending energy. Darkness is actually properly in its place. So darkness is not inside out nor upside down. It's upright and outside in. So the outside is what's in, you see. And what's upright, or what, what, what appears to be upside down in the underworld, is actually upright. So when you guys are talking about ascension, let me just let you guys know that if you believe you're going to ascend through the light realm, you're sadly mistaken. Smoke break on your ass. You are sadly mistaken if you believe that you can ascend through light. And I've been working on this video, I've been working on the video um, for a while, and the reason I've been working on it for so long, as you guys will see in the video, like you literally see that, <laughs> that it's different days because I have on different clothes and shit. Uh, this, uh, the Ascension is Fake video, my next video that I'm putting up um, on my YouTube. I break all this shit down in, in, in a full manner, and I break it down the way I break shit down in class, which is why the video is so long, because people that are in my class, they know that my classes are usually anywhere between four hours to six hours. Sometimes it can be longer, depending upon the questions. So, I mean, you can put, if, if, if a person understands, <laughs> you know, what my classes pertain to, you can do the math and understand that the price I charge, the rate, not price, the rate that I charge for the, uh, and when it comes to the currency is really pennies. It's really pennies. Like, I had somebody come, come at me one time, and it was like, dude, you charge $300 for your class? Like, spiritual stuff should be free. Such and such, such. I said, first of all, what I'm charging the currency for is the time it takes out of my day and out of your day for, for, to actually do the class, and then the time it also took for me to compile the information that I teach, as well as the time it took to provide the resources for everything. Like, if I showed you guys my library, I'm, one day I'm just going to screenshot. Now, I'm going to get that little screen recording app. So you can like record the screen and I'm gonna just go through my library. Just go through the library that people have access to in my class. There's about 300 books in my shit. 
Like literally, my my Google Drive is where my library is for everybody that's in my class. Is about three gigs, maybe more, of PDFs. So do you, do you know how small a fucking PDF file is? The average PDF file is about six megabytes. And if it's like one of those full uh, full PDFs with like actual color illustrations, it may be like 25 to 60 megabytes. Just matters how many pages is on that shit. I have three point like nine. I might even be in the fours at this point in gigabytes on my Google Drive. And that's resources. So that's why the people in my class, I like I talk highly about them. Simply, I talk high, more highly about the people in my class than I talk about my fucking self. And everybody knows how I, that, that I am the most powerful thing in my universe. There's nothing have, that has anything more power than me, nothing that gave me any more power, nothing outside, nothing exists outside of me. Every god, every goddess, every demon, every demoness, every incubi, succubi, uh, gnome, dwarf, fairy, I can go down the list. Anything that can be named exists within me already. That is my mindset. So there's literally nothing that I can encounter that wouldn't actually only be a reflection of me that I don't recognize. That's power. But them niggas got more power than me. Well, I won't say they do, but they have the potential to. Because it's really about how do you unlock it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they're going off of exactly how I teach them, then I will always have more power than them because they're just regurgitating or, or uh, replicating my realizations, my experiences, you know what I'm saying? And that's what a lot of you guys are going through. And I'm, I hate saying you guys like I'm always fucking pointing the finger, but I'm just being honest here. Most of y'all are going through this shit. Most of y'all niggas on these uh, on the channels of people like myself or uh, other people on these spiritual paths, it's because you're looking for some guidance, which is always fine. No, no, need, no issue for that. Uh, no issue with that. Um, the the difference is that guidance is divine. Instruction is not. Looking for a shepherd makes you a sheep. Looking for a savior means you're in danger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're looking for a shepherd, you are a sheep. If you're looking for a savior, your ass is in danger, my nigga. <sighs> and the savior is only, in it, is only gonna come to you as a stranger. Because you don't know thyself. So how the fuck you gonna know someone else? I mean, I'm just saying. And all this shit is rhyming because it's it, it, I, I rapped, so if you think I'm just doing it, just do it, uh, fuck you, I'm not. It is just, that is the point of why I can rap. Because one thing that I figured out once I started to wake up and really actually understand the ancient Egyptian Imedu Necher is Imedu and Necher, or the ancient Egyptian hieroglyph, when you're reading these stories, or you're reading the hieroglyphs, did you know they're actually raps? Yeah, like rap rap, like punchlines, metaphors, has a certain bar structure, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, nigga might even be dropping the beat out on your ass and you don't even know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That shit is raps. The ancient Egyptian magic spells are straight raps, straight songs, straight music. And they describe how when they did it, it could change the physical around you. As long as you set it in a rapping structure. Mm. So what do I mean by that? So when you hear the preachers and they be like, and then God, and then, and then God came down and he said this. And when Joseph came into the block, that's what I'm talking about. There's a certain uh, vibe rhythm that we have as, as melanated people that is part of the chaos system that was imploded, which when the Big Bang happened, it exploded. 
you see. So we were injecting ourselves with ourselves. The knowledge of ourselves was already within us. Everything that we saw was us. But then, at some point, it started to become a reflection. So once something becomes a reflection, that means there is, at some point, from, I don't know where the source may be, that's determined upon you, but there's a projection. So when you niggas calling each other, hey, reflection, you're actually not doing anything divine. <laughs> you're actually moving against the grain. So when you're all calling each other reflections, that means that their direction is your projection. Mm. What am I saying? What am I saying? What I'm saying is when you are saying, yo, what's up, reflection? Then their direction is your projection. What's up, reflection? Because technically I'm looking at my reflection on the camera. But that direction, see how it's changed directions on the camera? Determines the projection. What's up, reflection? This direction determines the projection. We don't even understand the shit that we say. Do you know what a reflection is? A reflection is literally shit. Shit or discharge, like pus. You know what I'm saying? If you ever been burnt, uh, uh, trust me, I'm a real nigga, I will tell you, I've been burnt. When you had that pus come out your, out your shit, out your dick, you're like, oh, what the fuck is this, nigga? This ain't real. This ain't supposed to do that. You got to go get that motherfucking antibiotic <laughs> and that shot in the ass. You got to get that antibiotic and the shot in the ass because you got chlamydia or gonorrhea. That is called flux, okay? Flux. Not an influx, but flux. So that is where the word reflection comes from, to flux again. Or, you know how, like, you take a shit, you flush the toilet, and then you look back, and that, like, one little ass chunk, like the baby is of the chunk, is still somehow in the toilet? <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck? So you flush it again? That's what a reflection is. And that is your physical body. The reflection is a projection of a direction. You see what I'm saying? Which meets at the intersection. <laughs> Which is why you die on the cross. See, what I'm doing is I figured out a new way of uh, speaking channeled information while not giving away what I truly know. And the reason why is because, and I'm going to show you guys something. The reason why is because niggas, they are after you. They are after you. Everybody is studying you. If your skin looks anything like mine, three shades lighter, three shades darker, if you come from a, a place where you have a culture that is older, than 8,000 years old, they're studying you. I just want y'all to look me in the eyes while I did that one, back to what I was doing. They're studying your shit. They are studying your shit. Now, who told me this? The first motherfucker I ever heard say that shit uh, was my nigga, and y'all got to follow him, at the way of Tahuti. T-H-E-W-A-Y-O-F-T-E-H-U-T-I. The way of Tahuti. So my, my boy, 
My boy came through. Now, he, he, now this, is, this is why I'm saying certain things that I say. Because there are certain things when it comes to ancient comedic, ancient ekemeiu, ekemeiu, you know what I'm saying? There's a certain little practice and vibration that we do that when it's done properly, you can actually tell if a person's reaching the real entity. So, J-U-E-I-E, J-U-E-I-E, which uh, in an easy, uh, is how it's pronounced in Meru Nature, if you were just to pronounce it in, a, in an English way or transliterate it a little simpler, it would be Jehudi or Tahuti. Just matters how you want to look at it. Um, but J-U-E-I-E is the Ibis or Ibis uh, figure that everybody refers to as Thoth. Now, here is the key on J-U-E-I-E. The, to have the, the uh, T-Y at the end, anytime you see the letter T-Y at the end of a, uh, a name in Meru Netcher, uh, a T-Y in the end of a name in, in ancient Egypt, it means it's a twin. Mm. It's the twin of something else. So the J-U, J-A-U, or E-J-A-U, is a, is a bird. But it's the, uh, the thalamus. It's actually your thalamus. So J-U-A-I-E would literally mean your hypothalamus and your thalamus. Because those will be twins of each other. Those will be twins of each other, or doubles. So J-U-E-I-E, or who people refer to as Tahuti, is your twins, which is the thalamus and the hypothalamus. A-E-M-E-N-R-A, or A-E-M-E-N-R-A, A-E-M-E-N-R-A, is your Amen's horn in your brain. Everything, every deity in ancient Egypt is a organ or some type of function within your body. Everything. Because they were basically trying, that's why it was called Imedu Netcher. And every god or goddess was a Netcher, or technically every spirit. Because even demons were given the, 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 the uh, demons and the most evil with shit was technically given the, the term Netcher. Because nature means nature, or, or the nature of this thing. It's a natural fucking role in life, my nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is what it's supposed to do. That's basically what that shit meant. This is the, the, and this is why I'm saying what I'm saying about what Tahuti said about their studying us. Because when you wake up the deities, what happened is whoever actually woke up the deity from the Godhead, from, and when I mean the Godhead, you are the deity. You're not looking at the deity. I don't, like, I don't ever see Jehudi coming to me in a dream. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit's not that. If I were to see Jehudi coming to me in a dream, it would be me doing something and, and, and teaching something and then happen to look in the mirror and see and it's me. You see what I'm saying? Seeing I'm the one in the mirror. That's how gods and goddesses come to you in dreams. If they're actually a separate entity, then that means that somebody's fucking you. Literally. And you just don't know it. Because that's how succubus and incubus fuck people. Trust me, I create... You're talking to somebody who does black magic. Straight up. Straight sorcery can kill you if I'd like. And not only do that, take your soul so that you don't even, that you technically didn't even exist. So I wouldn't even, there would be nothing killed. It would be like as if your parents never met. Or if their parents never met. That's the type of shit I fuck with. So if I'm trying to tell you <laughs> that these are how these things fuck you, don't you think I have your best interests at heart? See, if I didn't care, if I wanted to just feed off your prana with the rest of everybody else, then I wouldn't even mention how we do things. I would just let it happen and just be sitting back like, ha, 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 yeah, source, ha, ha, yeah. 
Yes, guys, believe in source. Because the one, everybody that's believing in a source or an all or a God or a Yahweh or a Jesus Christ or anything like that or Christ consciousness or anything of that nature is basically feeding us. Because we have the ability to invoke and evoke the things you guys pray to. So by doing that, when you're sending energy to those things, it comes to us because those things don't exist. <laughs> they were created by us. And that's why when you read the Gnostic text, they easily break it down in the Gospel of Philip. It's under the, the chapter, uh, the book names. The book of names specifically say that, that any name that, you know, sorry, anything that can be named is of man. Because if it was of the divine realm, it would never be spoken, which is, which is literally mirroring, again, Amin Ra. Because Amin Ra is, Ra is the name that they refer to him as. But his real name, if you read the, the actual scriptures, they never give. Because the name they give is Amin Ren F. Amin Ren F, which literally means his hidden name. <laughs> or he who hides his name. That's literally what the fuck that shit means. So even, and the reason why is because once you have the name of somebody or something, you have power over that thing. Because you can then define it by your perception of it. Even if it's not a reflection. So like I mentioned earlier, reflection or flux means to shit or be a residue or an excretion uh, excretion of some shit so calling somebody your reflection is actually not as divine as you think you know what i'm saying because like i said earlier your reflection determines uh is determined upon the uh 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 what i say the reflection is determined upon the direction of the projection you know what i'm saying which is all your perception all your perception so when I realized that I was fucking with, with Jay Udi, and then I go on to Hootie's channel, I had found him. I forgot how I found him, actually. I actually I found him looking for Brother Panic. Uh, Panic, which is, which is a, a, another person that has been very key. And, and Panic told me the simplest shit, like, when I met this nigga. He said, yo, you got the information. Just, just stop intellectualizing shit. And when, he said, don't use logic. He said, just look at the symbols. And when he said that, it was like, it was almost like going to meet Yoda, you know what I'm saying? And then fucking like, you're, you're, you're Luke Skywalker, and you're kind of going to meet Yoda, you know what I'm saying? And then Yoda just tells you like, yo, you got to look within. And you're like, nigga, I'll just travel fucking, it was almost literally like, uh, it was almost literally like, um, Oh, what the fuck? Uh, what movie was that? Oh, Doctor Strange. When he goes in and she's like, uh, I forgot what she told him in the first part. And he was like, he was like, really? He, he, he just got, so he was like, bitch, I, that ain't real. She's like, no, open your eye and then kick that nigga out. He said, man, that was pretty much, I mean, I didn't get kicked out because I, I did, my eye was already open. I didn't even approach it with ego. I just, when he, when he said it, I was just so thrown back because my human side, the humanity, the ego itself, was expecting him to say some real divine shit to me. But the God in him and the God in me was able to recognize that him keeping it a hundred as a nigga was the most real shit he could have said, was the most divine shit he could have said. You know what I'm saying? The, the most divine shit he could have said was what he said. Look at the symbol. You know what I'm saying? Look at the symbols. And the reason why he said that to me specifically, because he, he under, not only did he understand what I was asking and, by, and the shit I was asking him could only come from a person who already practices. You know what I'm saying? So he knew I, I knew some shit. But what he was saying was because the books that he references to read, I already read them and more. So he knew that like, okay, so the only thing that, the only disconnect I'm having is when I'm reading the books, my intellectual, the logic, the left brain is the one paying attention. And then the heart chakra, which is connected to the right brain, they're both, the heart chakra is connected to both sides of the brain. 
but the divine side, which is the divine feminine, is your right side. I'm sorry, your left side, which is connected to the right brain. So my left eye, that's why Lisa left eye Lopez, my left eye was closed, not physically, but in, my, in the, the right brain, which is connected, was pretty much either sitting dormantly or just like sitting, just sleep, you know what I'm saying? And the logic was taking in the information and I'm like connecting the dots, but on a logical standpoint. Like, oh yeah, this makes sense, this makes sense, this makes sense, this makes sense. Instead of connecting the dots from a symbolic standpoint, which is like, oh shit, so this corresponds to that, this corresponds to that, that corresponds to that, because they all have the same symbology or the same mythology, which gives you a methodology behind using the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all Scientology is. Scientology is literally just ancient Egyptian shit, but they just took out all the spiritual shit. <laughs> they was like, okay, so instead of saying spirit, we'll just say dark matter. <laughs> instead of saying, uh, sorry, we'll just say dark energy. Instead of saying soul, we'll just say dark matter, and then we'll leave it at that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And instead of saying a, a, a body, we'll just use the word light. There we go. Bong, bong. We win. And that's what they're doing to y'all. So when, you, when you're talking about light, you have to understand and understand that light ref literally refers to the physical shit that you can see with your two eyes, which is only 4% of any cosmic structure. That's why you only use 4% of your brain right now, because you niggas are so determined and so... Uh, in, in, intertwined with light, whereas the dark energy and the dark matter is what's popping in. So getting back to Tahuti, his YouTube, I believe, is a cult, oh, a, a quantum occultism. Check him out on YouTube. Subscribe to his channel. Also subscribe to my shit. My link is in my bio. And check out those videos I put up. This live will be up. I, I see what you're talking about, Dr. Nez. I've heard that so many times, and I know what that is. What that is, is what's happening is basically this is how this works. When you start to channel dark energy, which means you are channeling spirits or demons or gods or goddesses, you are using bioelectricity. So what happens is something that's electric starts to fucking flip out because you're basically using a, a, a wattage or some type of uh, uh, electromagnetic spectrum that's higher than itself, and it changes. And I notice that because if I really start to channel some shit while I got my Bluetooth headphones on, the song will start to skip. So like when I'm freestyling something and I'm really in the zone, it, like sometimes the song will skip. It'll have like, 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 like a CD being scratched. And it only does it when I'm channeling which would mean that I am channeling something stronger than the Bluetooth channel, than the, than the uh, 4G frequency or whatever frequency that the Bluetooth is on. What the information I'm pulling is stronger than that. And that's why th these things freeze and they pause. It, it, that's what's happening. It ain't got shit to do with your Wi-Fi. So don't, don't, start, don't send a bill to fucking Verizon Files. <laughs> don't, don't send a check to files because, oh, shit, I was watching Kinsu and my shit started freezing. You know what I'm saying? I thought my shit was fucked up, so I paid the bill. Nah, fuck them niggas. It has something to do with the fact that the information I'm speaking and, and, the, and the cells, which are souls, being activated within you is making the shit freeze because the R connection is stronger than that damn Wi-Fi, than that damn Bluetooth, than that damn 5G, 4G, 3G, I don't care what G you are, it ain't stronger than G, OD, generator, operator, destroyer, which exists within your mind, it ain't stronger than that, and that's why those shits happen, so when you niggas is experiencing fucking technical difficulties, it ain't got nothing to do with Mercury retrograde, it's, it's your Mercury moving in retrograde. You see? That's like, this is, this is the key to on, on anything, and, and this is what I teach when it comes to astrology. Astrology is just the, the 
the white boy's version of astronomy, which existed in ancient Kemet way prior to them niggas coming out of a cave. That's what it comes down to. That existed way prior to that. So what we were doing in, in astrology was we was basically using the astronomy to correspond to things that were going on within your body. So Mercury being in retrograde is represent a representation of your Mercury moving in a retrograde state. Your Mercury or your Quicksilver is moving in a retrograde state, which means that it is moving in a, in a, in a direction that is opposite from physical reality. That's what that means. So when it comes to Mercury retrograde, your Mercury retrograde is in reference to the fact that your Quicksilver, which is your, your, your pineal, the, the uh, I think it's DMT, or it's whatever the pineal gland and the thalamus uh, secrete, whatever that is, is what they call Quicksilver in, uh, in occult shit. So when you saw in, in like the uh, Avengers, how they had the, the, the dude Quicksilver and his sister, how they were twins, that's your pineal gland and your pituitary gland. That's what they're talking about. Or, or your thalamus and hypothalamus. That's what they're talking about. A masculine and a feminine uh, uh, energy. So Quicksilver is, uh, that's why my class is also lit, because them niggas, be have, that's what their homework usually is, is movies. Uh, but um, Quicksilver move, is moving in an opposite direction of, of, of frequency. So, and that's one thing that Tahuti was talking about. Uh, when Tahuti, I was watching his channel, he had something on quantum uh, mechanics in the brain or something like that, and how he was explaining basically how all the shit that we did in Egypt is already, uh, was already in a pyramid and described through scientific matters, and then they basically went and, and now calls it something from a scientific shit. So like, uh, the, the theory of relativity by Einstein. That ain't nothing but some shit that niggas has had said in Egypt. The, the, the fucking, uh, um, uh, what's the shit called? Something to do with the hands. Uh, string theory. String theory. That's literally the name Ra. Ra, Ra is string theory. Literally. Uh, well, actually, the, the, the hieroglyph of it is string theory. But R literally means a photon beam, or either a photon beam or a photon particle. It has nothing to do with the sun. The only reason we, we, we connected it to the sun was because the, the four, uh, it's really eight of them, uh, seven of them, the seven Ra's gave you different energies. So like, Kepra, which is the sun when it rises, which is no, Kepra means to create or to transform. A means myself, I. <laughs> Literally, that's, what, that's how it's spelled. X-P-R-I, Kepra. Uh, means I create myself or I transform myself. I came to be from myself. That's literally what that name means. I was just trying to find the sun. I was going to do a little sun gaze, but it ain't in a position where I can see it. Um, that's what that is. So photon particle is R. You know what I'm saying? And if you look into photon particles, you'll see that the photon is the seventh vibration that actually creates the physical light. So when everybody's talking about love and light, that's what you're talking about. Physical shit. And, and compassion means to suffer with. But if you read the book Power Verse Forces by Dr. David Hawk, uh, Dr. David Hawkins, you see that the, the emotion of love gives off the, uh, um, sorry, the frequency of love is the emotion of reverence. And to, be, to, to revere something means to stand in awe of it or be in fear of it. That's why if you pay attention to my, uh, my uh, stories, there's a spell that I always play where it says, may the gods of the duat, which is the underworld, may the gods of the underworld be afraid of me and may they fight for me in their halls. 
may they stand in awe of me because that shit is the frequency of love which means to revere something literally so the frequency of 639 hertz means to be in fear or stand in awe or revere something else you see and uh so when he said showed me all that i'm like huh that makes fucking sense and then i heard bobby say it i'm like huh they are studying us and then i started to pay attention online and then that's when it clicked that's when it clicked if you notice just all you gotta do is pay attention everybody that is caucasian that comes from european descent everything and every path of spirituality they're teaching they have no connection to culturally smoke break they stole it from your ass melanated niggas they stole it from you hmm? they have no connection to it culturally think about it they go to Bali, they go to all these places, Bali, they go to Peru, they go to fucking India, they go to Egypt, they go into Tibet. Thailand, China. They go everywhere they can to teach you your shit. Ain't that some shit? Ain't that some shit? And here's the real key on it. And this shows you how spiritually premature most people are that listen to these people because the reason why they do that, and I'm a, and I'm gonna give you all some some funk that I was gonna save for the YouTube, but I'm gonna give you all a little bit of funk now. They were created in the test tube about 6,000 to 8,000 years ago. They did not exist prior. I'm going to say that again. They were created as a race 6,000 to 8,000 years ago in a test tube as an experiment. They did not exist. And there's scientific proof to this. All you got to do is look up Europeans origins and there is scientific proof and that just came out about a year ago and they, they've had a lot of information but this one is like something that they actually posted about a year ago that literally says that the the, the concept of a year of a white person only came about about six thousand years ago prior to that no one had white skin blonde hair and blue eyes there were lighter skinned people but they all had red hair or brown hair they didn't have blonde hair and they didn't have blue eyes. That is a recessive gene. That lit blonde hair, blue eyes, and light skin are all defects. Look it up. <laughs> Look it up. They're all defect defects. It's a nutrient deficiency that does not allow them to retain or absorb their, uh, the U melanin, which if you understand from a spiritual aspect, how it's explained in all the, the ancient days, if you read the Rig Veda, you read the Egyptian Book of the Dead, you read the Tibetan Book of the Dead, you read Taoism, you read the Bhagavad uh, Gita, or, or Bhagavad Gita. They clearly explain that later on there was a man that was created solely of spirit. They had no soul because they were created after creation. Everything that was created after creation doesn't have a soul. It only has a spirit. Everything that was created prior to creation has a soul because they were their own solar systems prior to this one solar system. And this one solar system took all the ingredients from the other solar systems and made a melting pot. All you got, everything I'm talking about is scientifically spoken. So this nutrient deficiency is really them lacking hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon is melanin. 
hydrocarbon is melanin. So when you are, are uh, uh, reading about dark matter and dark energy in the universe, you're basically reading about melanin. When you're looking up in the sky and you're seeing darkness, that's, that's black. That's pretty much just black people. Don't believe me? Go look up black body radiation. Black body radiation clearly explains that everything you see in the sky is actually black. What happens is it starts to radiate uh, energy from within itself, which means there's motion inside of it. So when you see a star or a planet in the sky, that means that and it's and it's shiny like like Venus. That means that there's people living there. They may not have form like we have form, but there's definitely entities living there because that's what creates the radiation. So once it starts to radiate enough heat from the inside, at that point, what happens is it starts to shine. So when you see a red star, that means that there is it's very low frequency. When you see an orange star, it's just a little bit more frequency, but very low. When you see a yellow star, like the sun system that we're in, it's intermediate. When the sun is in the zenith and it becomes completely white, it's actually green. But because we are inside of the solar, inside of the earth, it, it reflects off of the firmament, which creates what's known as the greenhouse effect, which makes the sun look white. And that's why in midday, they, they tell you never to sun gaze. That does not apply to you if you are black or brown or have, have melanin. So if you're blonde haired and blue eyed, I would not suggest it because you have enough melanin. So you would literally just be eating UV rays. Sorry, the UV rays and gamma rays will be eating your ass. If you're melanated, you eat UV rays and gamma rays. Google that shit. Google you melanin. You melanin literally consumes, literally feeds off of UV rays and gamma rays, which would mean that basically your black and brown asses don't come from this solar system. You come from a system that's blue. People who are blonde haired, blue eyed would have to be coming from a orange or a red star because this yellow star puts them in danger. You see how the vibrations work? And this is not about race. This is about Knowing thyself. Fuck the race shit. This is about knowing thyself. Knowing when people are writing things to write themselves into history. It's convenient to know that the humans came out of Africa 40,000 years ago. Why? Because if they told you that there were black people in Boston, Massachusetts making fucking pots as, as designs, 600 million years ago, that would probably scare you. <laughs> There's a, they know it because they have the information. It's called the Dorchester pot. Look it up. I, I actually talk about this on the YouTube video that I'm going to put up, but it's called the Dorchester pot. 600 million years ago in Dorchester, Massachusetts, there were melanated people welding iron, metal workers using fire to bend metal and it's literally made out of zinc actually it's not even metal it's completely zinc completely zinc so 600 million years ago we were already here doing the same shit so there is no nothing there's nothing new there's nothing to save there's nothing here to ascend none of that shit's gonna happen you're down here to know thyself and get the hell out. The people who have the attachment to this world will never leave this world. Because this shit plays in cycles. It's a video game. It's like equivalent to playing a CD and leaving it on loop. You know what I'm saying? Leaving it on repeat and then you leave the house. That's what happened. The creator of this universe created a, a, the, a cycle or a template and then left it in charge to, to some shit that he created himself that is imaginary out of his loneliness. So that's literally like if I, if I had imaginary friends in my house and since I left 
and I liked the music, I kept the CD on for them niggas. And then they in the house leaving other shit in charge. Like, like they in the house ruling over other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, didn't you know Boss said that don't turn that song? Let that song play, nigga. <laughs> like, really? That's what y'all doing. When you're talking about source and the all, that's what you're doing. Because <laughs> cause you're, you're, cause the, the basically, to answer your question pre-existent, and this, how, this is what, how synchronistic this is, there's three hummingbirds flying around over here. If you listen to them and you know hummingbirds, how they sound. Oh, there they go. They're, they're, there's two of them right on this pole right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Actually, it probably moved because I don't even see it no more. But it was right on that little line. Uh, they were singing while you said that. So how you leave the world and not reincarnate is by having no thoughts of it. The mind and the, is deter, uh, the, the mind and the soul determines where the spirit and the shadow go. The shadow is what helps the spirit create a physical body. But they can only do that through the mind and the soul. So if you have physical uh, 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 thought forms that relate to this shit, like, for example, when it, if I am emotionally moved by Donald Trump, if I'm emotionally moved by the fires that's happening in California, I stay in California. I actually inhaled the smoke. I'm about 30 minutes driving from where the fires were. A actually, no, about 15 minutes because my ex-girlfriend said it got close to her shit, and she's only like six or seven miles away from me. So it's not far. You know what I'm saying? If you are emotionally moved by those things and, and want the fires to stop, or, or praying for the fires to stop, or doing anything mm. uh, like that, then basically that's how people reincarnate because you're, you're trying to attach your, your human thought processes to understanding um, something that's bigger than you. Like, the fire ha happens naturally. Everything, when it's an earthquake or a hurricane, that's something that the, the, the world or the universe or Earth was trying to cleanse from herself. You know what I'm saying? When you throw up, when you throw up food, it's because there's, that food was harming you. <laughs> so that's what happens. We got about two minutes left, just to let y'all know. I'm going to actually save this and put it on my YouTube. Um, so in case anybody has any questions or it froze for you, you'll be able to go back and reference. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's all done through thought forms. If you are moved by any of that shit, it's because you haven't cut off your humanity to see the divinity in everything around you. So when fires happen or earthquakes happen, I pour alcohol for them niggas. <laughs> Whatever spirit was behind it, good. More the merrier. This universe is trying to destroy itself because it's a program of a, of a game that we don't care to play no more. Like, it's pretty much a bunch of people sitting around at an arcade playing PlayStation games. And we're, we're in PlayStation 4 and Xbox One at this point. And y'all niggas, it's like how they, how they brought the Game Boy back out. It's like a nostalgia that, that we get, that we just have to get that experience of playing no games. I want, I want them to bring Final Fantasy VIII back. You know what I'm saying? That is what the mind goes through and the soul goes through, and once it starts to pay too much attention to it, it ends up creating a body. So basically the way to leave, because I only, we only got 30 seconds. Y'all see that, that aura right there? Yeah, that's a spirit. But uh, see that indigo aura? That's spirit right there. But yeah, we got 30 seconds left. So what it is is your human thoughts will create a human. So having desires for, for love or feeling like you didn't get enough money, you didn't do, uh, have enough friends, you didn't do this, you didn't do that, anything of that nature will bring you back because you were born perfect. All right? Stay wavy, starseeds. Kensu Keku, 636 God. We out.